Hi there, welcome back to part three of His Hand. And the spirit is speaking so spontaneously, even in this like one take recording. So now we're in part three, which I didn't expect. So the, to recap, we looked at the power of words spoken, the ones that you speak, the ones that are spoken about you, the ones that Father God prophesies over you, His final word. But we saw in part two what Jesus did in Isaiah 61 and Luke 4, 18 about what He spoke and what He refrained from speaking is just as powerful and even more so and pertinent to us where we are in this openness of His invitation, still available before the day of vengeance comes and it is His hand. That day is at hand and it is His hand that is offering you more. There is still more for you. So I was led to decree it is spring coming summer to those that are His own by wearing yellow in obedience before I started shooting. So receive this spring, a joyousness, a strength, because what he is now speaking in this part three has a lot to do with what he's preparing because it is his righteous justice that he wants to bring for you despite whatever resistance has been mounting against you. He will charge like a bull and mow the enemy down for you. Are you consecrated? Are you waiting on him and him alone? Stand strong, stand alone if you must because you are never truly by yourself because the King of glory is within and he is maneuvering as Father leads to bring the enemy down. And I speak this in Jesus' name. So I say, let the loyal kingdom of God luminaries light your way. They are what the heavens are speaking. They are the angels of pure light that I am unleashing all about you and for you to fulfill the prophecy over your life. Do not let your crown be removed. Your calling is sure. Only you can relinquish it. Do not let others sully you or compromise your calling. Stay true because Father God is true to you. And he just gave me a prose before I started shooting these three. And, you know, maybe I'll release more of these imprecatory prayer proses that he's given me. But this one is interesting. And I'm reading it from my notebook now <laughs> because it's super fresh and it's called Cross the Heart. Cross the Heart. For when I awoke today, I felt something across my heart. So those all have to be relinquished to him for him to speak in my heart to wisdom for me to share anything. And this is what he gave. This is the prose called Cross the Heart. Extreme seems so to the human mind. Extreme to pour out every last drop in love with humanity. When most will take the totality of you, O King, in parts and pieces due to limited scope of willingness and shallow understanding. But Hubris says, not so, true, so true. You don't know what my king did was necessary, absolutely, to absolve you and me of the extent of the creeping, the subtle, and over time. Seething, network, shadowing, penetrating true life. So sly and slow, pervasive the evil, the friends. Gradually overtaking of the light of glory to be eaten alive by incomplete pictures and novel ideas, vain imaginations, of a soulish people and limited hive minds. Oh, the pained heart of the Christ. Half story seducing the children away. Let's play, let's play. Looks, feels, tastes so good, and it is so right. Self-rightness when half-truths are lies. The banner lifts high, finds the loves have been captivated by strategized words framed. Yet the love that forgives, heals, redeems, lifts, crowns, exudes eternal confidence love so extreme it remains in me here abba whispers for you i have more than the good you enjoy in the moment perceptions are not my truth father move us change the hearts of kings bring them bring us back to you in completion manifestation of the spirit movement into the sweet place where all enticement shall cease and the harmony of heaven's heart rings oneness lion loves the lambs we remain at your feet, enjoying you, Father of all goodness and creation. I am so now, leaning upon your knee, sorrows given over and depowered, overflowing in mercy and peace. Shalom, shalom, be free. Wickedness shall be crushed. Be my love, bear my justice. You are holy, reckoning. I was led to share with you 
to read Psalm 27. The Word of God is most important. May this speak to you. Psalm 27 from the New King James Version. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord, the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp around me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle he shall hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me, put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help, leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over into the will of mine enemies, for false witness are risen up against me, and such as breathe out cruelty. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. That psalm, the whole chapter, a psalm of David, Psalm 27. I'm going to close this part three of his hand by saying, are we not blessed to be able to choose blessing over cursing? Are we not blessed to confess what the creator of all has given us the privilege to do, co-create with him? May it be life from your tongue, pure life from the Father's heart, pure life and not any compromise. Refuse to align with death because it is tricky, it is subtle, it is the saturation of this world. But be set apart, consecrate, for in that his own will be delivered, they will be healed, and they will walk in signs, miracles, and wonders. Do not, do not despair. For spring, he says, is prophesied, and summer is coming, and the Savior of all will bring to repentance all against you, and will bring into redemption all that are with him. Do not despair, but delight, delight in the Lord. May the joy of the Lord be your strength. I am Jane Justice Park, and I thank you for choosing your words with humility and all spirit to guide you into all truth, for your words bear witness of the kingdom of light and the Savior who overcame death so that we might live forever eternally while that invitation is still open. His hand is moving for you, has your back, and girds you, covers you, and surrounds you. Holy firewall from heaven that I've been given, I release unto you. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. May the joy of the Lord be your strength, and that your words are in alignment, in allegiance, and that you will find true peace. Thank you again for listening. I'm Jane Justice Park, and may His hand be what you see in this day and forevermore. Bless you in Jesus Christ. I release these words of life to you. See you next time. Bye-bye.